Amala is saying that black people are overreacting because this Asian man um, painted himself with this makeup that clearly is way too dark for anyone to wear as a makeup shade. And she's saying that she's seen someone with that skin color and that it would match someone. And But she doesn't remember who it was. She doesn't have the video. In a nutshell, she has zero evidence to show that she's seen someone with that skin tone and that it matches. She's like, oh, I swear I've seen it. I just don't have the video. I got lost in the sea of videos. Girl, you did not see that. No one is that skin color. No one is exactly black. No one on this planet is exactly white. If we're going to start arguing things about like the nonsense that Amala says, because I actually liked Amala, some of the things she would talk about, but this was, this, she lost me with this because she's being ridiculous. Then the Asian man proceeds to paint himself with a black face and she's saying it's not black face. If we're telling you as a collective that we're offended by something and we don't like it, how are you going to tell us that it's not offensive? How are you going to tell us it's not offensive? Amala makes no sense. I'm gonna let the video play for you and then I'm gonna get back with more commentary. Of blackface and people are calling for him to be doxxed on the internet. Now, you might think this is somebody who's drawing on a blackface in order to mock black people and do a minstrel show, but it in fact revolves around a foundation slash beauty brand by the name of Euphoria that is currently receiving a lot of backlash for making a black foundation too dark. Yes, you heard me correctly. We'll see how you guys feel about the darkest of blacks would get called out for cultural appropriation if they wore this Euphoria foundation shade. This is literally like if a brand put out like a purely orange shade or like a purely yellow shade and was like, here you go. Really see her face there. This is the darkest foundation shade that they released. Now, as you can see, it does sort of just look like black paint. It, it it does kind of sort of look like just black paint. I mean, her headband and that foundation shade are not that different. And I guess people did sort of sleuth in pure crisis mode. No one is pitch black with no undertone at all. When you see this foundation in person, you would realize that it is pitch black. When you mix it with white, it turns gray. No one is this color. Okay. Amala knows that she's full of shit. Amala knows that no one's this color, but yet she's going to push the agenda that, oh yeah, they weren't racist. They were just making a color. If it, it, you can't even find anyone, Amala, that is that color. You cannot find anyone that is that color. And you made up a video that doesn't exist and say that, oh yeah, there's someone that color. I've seen it, but I can't find the video. You need to have evidence for what you're saying. You're always talking about how someone has to prevent present evidence for what they're discussing but yeah you didn't do it you just want to jump on the bandwagon and just come up with some bullshit and say that oh i found it i just don't know where they are number two you just admitted that it's really black it's just as black as that girl's headband then you go and say if one black person fits that shade then it's not racist girl find that person you're not going to find that person then you're telling me that this isn't a menstrual stroke type of thing and this man even went as far as not painting his lips black and just like the old menstrual shows, they used to paint their whole face black, except their lips, and they left it white, or they did it red. Bitch, you think somebody's stupid? Get the fuck on. I don't care if you're conservative, conservative or a Democrat or whatever, Republican, but you got to admit this is bullshit. And if you can't, that just lets me know where your mind is, and we don't need to be around each other, because this is clearly that, and it's black people are telling you we don't like it. But yeah, it's okay because black people whine about everything and we shouldn't be offended by anything because this isn't a minstrel show. This is minstrel show type shit. We know what he's doing. You just said he's a rage baiting content creator. What does that mean? He's baiting rage. That means he's going to do something outlandish that people get upset about. That means you contradict yourself. If he's a rage baiting content creator, that means he's going to do something that instills rage in people. And he knew that blackface would do that. He knew that. He knew what he was doing with this color. You think that people are so dumb and that you're so smart. I will say Amala is smart, but this was ridiculously stupid. Like she really tried to paint a picture of something that was not happening, that is happening and try to make it seem like it wasn't. And she's laughing about it. Yeah, you think it's funny. Why you think it's funny, Amala? Because you know what he's doing. All right, y'all let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. I found this utterly annoying because, like I said, there's no white person that's exactly white with no undertone. And there's no, no one that's black with zero undertone. There's no one with yellow skin with no undertone that's solely yellow. That doesn't make any freaking sense. Then to even try to gaslight the community and try to be like, oh, we're just whining. Like, girl, shut the fuck up.